Okay, we all learned our reputation, so doing my pipe pour again, the one that had mis poured once. And I had a core float that I don't believe I showed you guys yet. That looked good from this side. That mess poured it looked good from that side too. Remember this is remelted scrap, so it's not not gonna have a very good surface finish and it's all extruded, it's window frames and such as that. So it won't be very pretty. Casting them and start using pre cast material. Had a Dickens of time making a 10 inch long, 1 inch diameter core. That looks good. And the core didn't float. I did vent it. And I got plenty of shrinkage. So, we'll set that aside. All right, this one is a uh, this little blob of metal so I can test my pipe that I'm making. Need to make a test fixture for the end of them. That's the feeder riser and that's the piece. What I'm using for my pattern used to be a uh, pouring basin. Instead, at the bottom of the sprue, now I've got this with a little slight curve on it, and then it feeds in that spin trap. And I'm getting clean pours. So I'm tickled to death with the changes. riser was a piece of wood I cut to make a sprue one time so it rolls all the way up and then it shrank back and we got just a little shrinkage right there thought I had plenty of contact with it but in any event it'll machine off but Pouring basin, piece of foam, tapered sprue, tapered only in one dimension, it's a quarter inch thick the other dimension, and then the runner, the gate, and I made one of these the other day with more shrinkage because I had a smaller feed riser. It's machined up real clean.